Hey guys, this is Hunter with Good Old Boy Customs, and today I'm going to be showing you how I build my own tint backpacks, powered, 12-volt uh, powered, and uh, I'll be listing all the products below. You can purchase it all from Amazon. Um, I'll put together a price list for you as well, and we'll kind of figure out along the way how much these will cost you. So yeah, let's get to it. So just going through the products here, the first thing pulling out is going to be our M12 adapter. I like to use M12 batteries. You could substitute it for any 12 volt power or 12 volt power source. You can buy little battery packs off Amazon. I like these M12s though because I've got all the M12 tools, so it works great. They're always around the shop and always charged. So I've got that. So that aside, here we have the backpack, and this backpack uh, it's got a bladder inside of it. Um, as you can see here, just tucks into this bag and you fill it with water and then it's got the little hose coming out here. I've already had this hooked up to a pump before, so we're just going to be re reusing this one. Next, we've got a wireless switch with a remote. Now, I've done it before with just a switch on the backpack, but what I've found is if you, if you ever run into any issues, um, whether it be a leak or something, and you're in a vehicle or you, you, know, you squish it with your back, um, then you're f fooling around with it, trying to get to it, trying to turn it off. Uh, so this makes it way easier. You can hang it right here, click it on, click it off, and you don't have to worry about uh, having any mishaps. Okay, next we've got our quarter inch airline. Um, that's all, I, all you need. I like the, the quarter inch. Works well. It's nice and flexible. Doesn't get tangled too easily. You only need, you know, three, four feet of it anyways. So you'll have this, you'll have some extra for other projects. Okay, so the next thing here that we have will be our pump. Now, all this is is just a little 12 volt, 12 volt pump and uh, it works well. I've had a couple of them burn out, but they're cheap enough that if they do, easy, cheap to replace, so. Okay, and the last thing that we're gonna need here is a spray nozzle of some sort. Um, this is the one that I have kicking around. I actually prefer the brass nozzles, but I don't have any in stock right now. I just buy these straight through uh, Xbel. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here is we're going to uh, open up our airline. Okay, so now that we've got it open here, we're kind of going to have to figure out how much length we want. I like to have a little bit extra so that I can kind of hang it off my pants, have, a, have it outstretch as far as I can get my arm, and still have a little bit to go. Um, so I'm kind of just going to measure out my arm length and then give myself another foot. And then we'll just cut this. So now I've got this length. We've got our nozzle here. So I'm gonna put a little bit of putty on here um, just so it doesn't leak on me. So I'll do that and get this installed. One thing I wanna mention is you wanna make sure if you can that you get a line that has a swivel. It just makes things so much easier, less tangling, less uh, knotting up. So um, I'll link this one in the description. So if you wanna just buy this one, it obviously has a nice swivel. Now I'm gonna grab the backpack here. We're kind of gonna start mocking up everything and figuring out where in the backpack we want stuff to be located. So if we open up this pocket here, got a few pockets inside. Um, I like to put the pump back in this back one. It fits pretty well. It can sit right in there, it's contained and kind of out of the way. It does stick out, it makes the backpack stick out quite a bit, but obviously you can't get around that because you need the pump. So what we'll do is I'm going to take this wire, and I've already poked a little hole down in the bottom corner. I'm going to feed the wires through that. And then we'll just set the pump right here. So 
So we also want to just look at our direction. On the back here, it shows direction, like the flow of the water. So it's going this way, which means we need our source on this side and our outlet on that side. So this is our water line here. And I've poked it through now. I'm not sure if I want it to be. Yeah. I want to actually pull it up through this pocket and in. So I'm just going to push that right on there. And then we'll put a hose clamp on that in a bit. Get that tucked down in there. Now for the power supply, I think I'm going to run it down in the bottom of this front pocket. So the pump's here and tuck it in. It's kind of annoying because it keeps making the backpack stick out further and further, but fortunately you can't really get around that. With the pump in, my power lines coming through the bottom here, I'm going to take this from in this big cubby here. And I'm just going to poke myself a little hole. And I'm going to run. This is my water line, so my source. And push it onto my pump. I feel like that's going to be a little less clustered up. Okay, close that up. Now we've got our power supply. We don't really need this because we're not going to mount it. We're kind of going to leave everything somewhat loose. Gives us, gives us some extra length to make any modifications that we may need or, or pull things out and work on it if it needs adjustments. Okay, so for the wireless remote, it comes with this little um, board, I guess. And it shows on the back here, in and out, positive and negative. So these two are in and these two are out. So I just crimped on some um, butt connectors here. Uh, so this will be our out source. This obviously out to the pump. So I'm going to cut these a little bit shorter. So we're not going to need all that extra. I'm going to, here, let's just get this camera down a little bit. Oops. So I'll strip these back. Got some heat shrink as well, so that we don't uh, have any of our wires bare. Uh, so this will be out. So we've got the white wire and the blue wire. It looks like the blue wire is our positive. So we'll stick that to the red. Okay, so then we have our power in. Pretty straightforward. This will be obviously our power source. So I like to just even up the wires a bit. Strip them back. So, this is our antenna, so if you see that random wire, that's what that's for. And then that there is our, um, there's a little button on there for setting up the transmitter. Next, so we're going to close up this. Now, and the next step will be getting this hose on. So I'm right-handed, so I want my pump to come out the right side of the backpack. 
So we're going to take this end, we're going to feed it through there and up. And there's already the hole right here, which this would typically be on this backpack. This comes out and then goes into your mouth so you can drink. But you can just feed it up and in. Okay, and now once now that we're fed inside, we can pull it, get our pump, uh, which I'm in the wrong compartment. But we will feed it through the same slot that we made for the initial or for the uh, water source. And then we'll zip this back up. We will unzip this compartment. And there we are. And then we'll need to, uh, what I like to do when these are a little bit smaller than the, uh, the nipple here on the pump, I'll heat this up and I'll actually use a little tool. Um, it's a step bit and I'll kind of just ream it open. So here's a step bit. That's all I use and I'm just going to push it in. Kind of twist as it's hot and it will expand and hold its form. You got to find the sweet spot because if you get it too hot, it kind of just turns gummy and uh, makes it difficult to get the step bit into to uh, try to expand it. And then as you can see, you can kind of just twist that step bit in there and it will open up. Give it a few seconds to cool down. And then if you want to use a little bit of uh, your tint soap or a little bit of slip solution, get it in there, get it on top of this nipple and it'll slide right on. Okay, so there we go. We've got our inlet and then our outlet over here. Now we'll just try to tidy this up a little bit. Now we've got everything uh, hooked up and we should be able to test it. Now we do need to learn the remote to the switch. Okay, so in order to program the remote to this little board, you can read the instructions and you want to go to the toggle section. There's a momentary, a toggle on the latching and a time delay mode as well, but we want toggle. So it says to push the button on the receiver twice, it'll light up. Press the on button, it'll flash three times, turn off. And then once we have that, on, off. So pretty straightforward. Now we're going to just tuck this all into here so we can do a test before we go tidying everything up. Okay, so obviously the first time that we use this, we're going to need to make sure that we prime it. Otherwise, you're not going to get any water coming out. It's not very difficult. You can take it, press the on button. There you go, it's already primed. So we'll take you downstairs, show you how much pressure it has and how it works, and then uh, go from there. Okay, so got the backpack on. Let's turn it on here. You can hear it pressure up. And just like that, lots of pressure. Now I've had, I have kegs um, that I've used with air, but there's just nothing, nothing beats having consistent pressure. You have consistent pressure, whether the tank's full or empty, um, whether the bladder's full or empty. This whole setup can also be put into a smaller bag and just buy some quick connects for your keg. And you could connect this right to your keg and have a perfectly good setup. Um, that's what I have. And I like to use the, backpack for residential stuff most of the time or if you get into a windshield somewhere where you're a little bit more compressed or with residential it's nice because you're not dragging around a keg or trying to remember all your spray bottles you just bring your bring your backpack bring an extra bladder you're good to go so yeah i will link all the uh, products that we use down in the description if you have any questions just reach out um, and if you have any suggestions on something to make the setup better let me know uh thanks for watching